so in that um, Isaac Asimov Association um, debate that was held with, uh, I think it was Max Tegmark. Max and Tegmark, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Lisa Randall, and there was one other young woman whose name yeah, escapes me Yeah, it escapes right me now. too. Um, very interesting debate. You said in that debate you think it was a 1% possibility yeah. that the universe is a simulation. Yeah. Um, w it, you have people like um, Nick Bostrom. Elon, or Elon Musk. Well, yeah, even Elon Musk, that's right. But, but there's, uh, you see, they're not physicists. I'm that's a true. I'm a physicist. That's true. And Nick Bostrom is more of a theoretical. No, no. He's a Nick philosopher. Nick Bostrom is actually a philosopher. That's right, yeah. So, but when, do you the, the reason I said 1% is because I can't say 100%. Yeah. That would be a violation of what science is. Right. In science, you never have absolute certainty. Right. And so my comment at the, at the uh, program was I think there's a less than 1% chance that our universe is, is a I simulation. I tend to agree with you because I don't think this is what the simulation would be like if it was a simulation. Well, there's actually something worse, which I try to explain to people. If we lived in a simulation, and if people accept that as being an accurate picture of our universe, it means that ghosts are also possible. Oh, yeah. Because the reason is because if we're simulations, we're like programmed running on some kind of computer. And when we die, it just means that our program has stopped. Right. But as long as that underlying computer hasn't been damaged, whoever's running the computer can, can start us back. back up. And well, so that could be 500, 600, 1,000 years in the future. And so ghosts would be real if, if you well, believe you, you could resurrect the dead. You can exactly. re and you can reincarnation would be real. And that you have a lot of theoretical physicists like Frank Tipler yeah. and David Deutsch proposing exactly that. Yeah, yeah I know. But um, that doesn't seem to be the universe I live in. Do you believe if they ever do develop that technology in the future, they should use the unit, sim, try, attempt to simulate uh, past... You mean whether humans should try right, to Right, should that. they try to resurrect the dead through artificial technology? Well, first of all... Artificial it, intelligence or virtual yeah, reality technology. When you talk about resurrect the dead, they wouldn't be resurrecting the dead in our universe. They would be resurrecting the dead in the simulated universe. Right. So it's not like it's happening to us. For the entities that would exist in such a universe, I can't imagine what that would be like because that means that all the stories that several thousand years ago that humanity believed about gods on the top of Olympus and uh, people throwing lightning bolts, all that would actually be uh, allowed in this simulation. My be. universe doesn't seem like it works that way. No, I don't. This universe doesn't seem like it works that way. But, you know, of course, Frank Tilbert says you not only resurrect everyone, you you uh, simulate I, all their possible yeah, memories, yeah, possible I, yeah, recollections. I, I'm aware of it, but uh, fortunately, I'm not going to be around when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you, they might bring you back, though. <laughs> oh, that would be painful. <laughs>